And we're actually going to set up a static line system. We're going to do a drill or practice drill um, doing a static line system. So what we've done here is we've done an inside a building and we're just going to use the trailer um, hitch out here as a one anchor. Back of the bus is the other anchor. We're going to set up our main system into the middle here. Okay, we're going to build the whole system. We'll bring a chair in to make our roof up so that's going to be part of our roof. And once we've finished, it'll be just looking like a real system except for it's not hooked up to proper anchors and obviously not a roof. So you can do this anywhere you want to do it. You don't have to specifically do it outside um, in the open air. So we'll move down over this side. So what we're going to do here is hook up onto our hitch here. So we've got a hitch. Um, we're just going to use a straight sling. So what we do, what we need over here, trip lock carabiner, rescue weight, and our sling. And obviously we've got the hitch into there. So we're just going to tie our tape knot first. Through. So what I've done is I've just pulled down my straight knot there. I'm pulling the sling through so I'm not going to get it all tangled up. And what we do now is we're going to feed this end here back through. Following our tape, all the way, our previous knot, all the way back around. Following that over, making sure we don't twist it at any stage. Up over the top. Pulling back through there. Okay. What we start doing, we start pulling it and we want to make sure that our tails, we have a good 100mm tail on either side, checking we've got there and start pulling each one. So we pull this one first, next one underneath, pull that one, pull that one, and we've got a good solid, nice tape knot there. So that's our sling pretty much made up through there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're just going to feed our tape straight through, okay, and putting it like that. So we just got a straight sling there. Keep it so the knot, I'm going to pull it so the knot's actually at the top. Now the reason we pull it so the knot's at the top, so while we're doing any work and we want to come back and just double check it to make sure something hasn't happened, we can see that our tape knot there is easy to see. What I do next is, I'm actually going to hook through my triple lock carabiner, straight through, hook onto our rescue weight. Okay, and we're just going to sit down onto our bag here that way we're not going to lose anything. We're ready to go. We've got it all made up. Okay, we can check things. And if we want to make sure that we've got it right, we can just double check it at any stage, sitting down there, and that one's ready to go. What we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the other side to do our other anchor. Okay, guys, over this end here, we're actually going to just tie it around the tow, up the tow bar of this trailer here. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't use that as a, a true anchor, but we don't need to. It's just to show us that we know what we're going to be doing as we get along. So this one here, we're going to do the wrap three pull two, okay, which is just a different version of actually tying it on instead of the sling. So what we're doing is we go over the top, okay, we're going to go around our three times, making sure that we keep our tape nice and flat there, okay, all the way around. Okay, so once we've got to that there, we're just going to tie our first knot here to our thumb knot. Okay, keep it nice and straight through there. And pull this one through, making sure that we keep it nice and flat there so we don't twist it. Starting again, we're just gonna go over. Pulling it around, following that one all the way around. And you can see I can adjust it each time to make sure that I'm gonna have plenty of tail coming back out through our back of our knot. So our tail, a minimum 100 millimetres. And the idea of that is to making sure that it doesn't pull through at any stage there. So it's going to have plenty of tail that it can't just feed back through again. Okay, once again, grabbing this one, pulling that one tight, pulling that one tight, that one, and that one. Okay, so once we've done that, pull it out like that, we grab the other two, and we're just going to pull the whole thing through. So we pull these two all the way through. And what we want to do is end up with our knot Sitting, oops, sitting right at the very, very top here. That way, when we want to look at it, we can check it. So you can see the other end there, we've done the same thing. We want to be able to see the knots at any stage. So somebody says, oh, have you got the right knot there? They can have a quick look there and making sure it's okay. And the reason we have the knot here, so when we're pulling on our anchor, and if anything happens, we pull, it's not actually going to put any load on the knot itself. So I can pull as hard as I like, and that's still a little bit loose there. So we're not actually putting too much load straight onto there and overseeding the knot itself. So once again now, we've got our two tails or two loops coming out here. Okay, grab our carabiner again. 
a wonderful trip lock carabiners. Fantastic piece of gear, aren't they? Okay, so what we're gonna do is hook it back through so we're ready to go like again. On there, sitting it back down onto our bag. The reason we do our bag, especially when we're practicing, we're not dropping it onto the ground here. Uh, hitting concrete, damage in the trip lock, or into sand or dirt. And we're gonna keep everything nice and neat. Okay, so that way we've got that there, we can see everything, and we're ready to roll. Okay guys, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over to the middle of our system over here. So this is gonna be the part that we'd make on the ground. Uh, we'd have our lines over the roof. Um, and we pull that line and be up in the centre of the roof. You've got to be really, really cautious with this one here that we make it up properly. Because if we don't do it here and we pull it up on the roof, it's wrong. That means we've got to pull that whole system back down again. So it's really, really important to get this right on our way through. Um, what we're going to do is use our 100 metre line here in our 100 metre bag. This is the actual working line that we would use if we had a proper disaster. So this is our real kit. Um, we don't need to pull the whole bag out, by the way. We only need to pull enough out that we can tie our system up. Okay, so that one there. Now I notice I could just pull that end out, so I've only probably got about six meters or so of rope out there. That means I don't have to restart and reuse it again. Um, with our 50 meter, wonderfully tied in the middle, so it's actually centered. So if I pull that out, I know that's the center, and that's the part that we would use of our line as well. So we're going to use our center. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move over closer, so we can have a little bit closer and you can see everything. Make sure you can. Okay. So what we're going to do on our static line. Okay. So our static line here we're going to do two alpine butterflies. Now, the two alpine butterflies got to be about 150 millimetres apart, six inches. Okay, you could go a, a wide hand, you've got a wide hand. All right, the reason we do that, it's got to fit inside our rope protector, which is here, okay, so it's got to fit in. If we go out here, it won't be fit inside our rope protector. Now, with our butterfly, once again, we throw it over. There's two ways, a couple of ways of doing the butterfly, but we'll just show the simple way there. Throw the rope over, throw the rope over, okay, go across. Grab the bottom, pull it back through, okay. Now, we don't want a massive loop. We don't need a massive loop on the butterfly. Uh, if we had the thimbles, obviously, we would fit that into there. We're still using the thimbles, but that's our first butterfly there. Okay, so what we're gonna make sure too is when we do our second butterfly, that actually the loop is gonna be coming the same way. It's 150 millimetres or six inches, okay, so the distance out to there. What I'm saying is, that's around about our six inch mark, that's where we want it, making sure that we're gonna sit into here inside our protector. So we get our rope, over, over, across, pulling it through. Okay, so what before I actually just pull it really, really tight, I might wanna start adjusting it a little bit so it can get out a little bit further, because it's close, well, it's pretty close to where it should be. Okay, I'm going to neaten it up a little bit. So what I want to make sure here that my two loops aren't massively different. Okay, we're going to dress it up a little bit. Okay, pulling it nice and tight, so it's dressed that way. Okay, so we've got our two butterflies here, uh, pretty close to being 150 millimetres apart. We don't need a rule or anything specifically, but that's where we're going to be coming at about that distance. So when we do sit it into here, okay, we know that it's inside our protector itself. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now onto our safety line, which is our 50 metre line, as you can see in the bag there, 50 metre bag. Okay, not always going to be the same colour though. Up here it will be, but you go somewhere else, the colour might change. You just got to know that in that one there, big bag, 100 metres, written on the bag. Those guys have done a fantastic job. Um, with our safety line, our 50 metre, we're going to do our figure eight on the bite. Okay, so what we're going to do now is dress it up nicely. So there's no twist in our line through there. Okay. Now, that's our first one. Okay, so that's first. Now what we're going to do is 1.2 metres apart for our second one. So 1.2 metres, good arm span. Okay. If you've got short arms, you might just add a little bit onto there, that's okay. The reason we have our 1.2 metres is that's going to be the line that sits on the roof that we can change over. It gives us plenty of loop, so if somebody falls, they're not going to pull somebody else off the roof. So what we do here, tie our next eight on a bite. Okay, feeding it back through. Same thing again. Dressing it up a little bit there, nice and neat. Okay, so that's our second one. So what we have here, two eights there, okay, basically in the middle through there. Okay, so what we've done now is we've got our system laid out ready to go. So you can see our static lines here. This is our safety line through to here. We're going to connect the whole lot together and then just double check it before we finish off. So we get our carabiner here, so we're going to hook it straight through, trip lock, and sitting it down like that. We get 
our next one over here. Back through there, back through there. Now what we're going to do is make sure we check the gates are closed so they're locked. Okay, so making sure that they can't go open by themselves or if they're just faulty at any stage. So now we've got a system laying out. What we need to do is protect our system. So this protector is sitting here, goes over the whole thing, stops it getting damaged on the roof, okay, making sure nothing can get cut. So what we need to make sure that we can do is fold our protector over our system. So we've got plenty of room, as you can see through there, to fold it through. Now, if you got to the stage where this wouldn't fold properly, you could just widen that out a little bit, okay, so you can actually widen out our um, two alpine butterflies, making sure we put it through. So now that we've done this bit to here, as you can see, I'm just going to pick it up here, pick our system up. So what we've got there, eights, our two trip locks, hooking onto our butterflies. We've also got our protector right over neatly. The main thing about the protector is we don't want it to undo on the roof, okay? So if we're pulling it back and forth on the roof, we don't want that to fall off to, on the roof, otherwise we're gonna go back and collect it. So that's our system, as you would see it here. And then we're gonna hook up our static line to our anchors on either side. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go down to our anchors. So we'll start on one anchor over there, and then we're gonna head over to our other anchor. Um, we're gonna bring in our chair or our roof, which will be a chair at this stage. So we'll bring that chair in here and pretend that's our roof. Okay, so what I've done is I've brought a chair in that's gonna be pretending that's the bridge of our roof. So we're actually gonna bring our line in, so we're gonna come along, and that would be sitting on the center of our ridge. Okay, um, our two safety lines coming down one side of the roof. So what I'm gonna do is just bring this, our main line over to here so we can actually see how we would attach it to our anchor. So we've got to walk it down over here, not stepping on any of the ropes, of course. Okay. So when we get over here, it's going to be really important. This is only a short piece of rope, but as we go along, we're just going to make sure that we keep things nice and neat. And we're not going to be stepping on things over there. So we've got our, um, as you can see here, main line here. So what we're going to do now is connect our main line up to our rescue weight. Okay. So, simply enough, grab it like that. So what we do is we go through the large circle on our rescue weight, back over the small one. So basically like this, coming up through, hook it over like that, and just pull it waves out of the road. We're gonna then grab our carabiner. Okay, put it through, put it through, put it right around so that our gate is facing downwards. Okay, we're gonna check it as well, so we're making sure that's right to go. Okay, so we're going to take up a little bit of the tension on our way through here. Okay, and basically all we're going to do is just lock off. Okay, so we just locked off there now, so we just pull it back on itself. Just so when we put a bit of tension on the other side, it's not going to start speeding through. Okay, I'm going to actually put that rope over the other side in here. Curl it up. I'll do that properly right now. So we do it properly here. It means we're going to do it properly all the time. We're not going to have little tangles like you can see there now. And that way if we need to use it or do anything or move it, it's going to be really, really easy to get a hold of and keep it out of the road, making sure that's locked. Always just come back and check your anchors on your way through so that everything's locked off properly. Okay, have another check, make sure your knots are okay. And that way we can start heading it over to our other one, which is our Rat 3 Pull 2. And we're going to do the same as what we did over this side over here. Okay, so we've done the other end, so now we come up to this end here with the Rat 3 Pull 2. We're just going to undo it again here. See, gloves are fun, but we've got to be using them because they actually could catch us on the way through. Okay, so the same thing again as before. Up right and over, pull back through. Okay, so as you can see here, I just sit there, it's a lot easier to be working with, so don't drop it back on the ground or anything like that on the dirt. Okay, get our sling, go through our sling, go through our carabiner, pull it up and over. Okay, have a look at it again. And we'll check that we've got our knot in the right spot there. A little bit of a slack there, so we're going to pull that through to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, so what we've got there now, we can actually put a little bit more tension. So to get your tension in, it's easier just to keep on going like this and feeding it through. Some people go, it's 
too hard to be pulling through. That's how this works. It works on friction going through there. If we release that and pull that a little bit there, we can start tightening up a little bit more and more. Okay, so when we, got, when we think we've got it reasonably tight, we're just going to lock this one off down there. Now, I'm not actually going to tie off yet. I'm just going to lock that off. So I might have to readjust it a little bit more on our way through. Once again, check the gate. Looking through here, looking at our system, making sure it's okay. That way we can go down to the other side. Put some more tension onto it till we get our actual uh, main line, sorry, static line, nice and tense to the right tension. Then we can lock off and tie off properly. Okay, so what we've done, got a bit of tension on that. We're going to put all the tension we need on now, so we're just going to keep pulling it through. Okay, just got to be careful we don't pull our chair over, which is a picture of our roof. Okay, so we've got our tension onto here. So what we're going to do now is lock off. Okay, so we've locked it off here. That way it cannot pull. There's no way you can actually pull that through. And then we're going to tie off. Okay, so tying off, grab a decent bit of loop through to here. Okay, we're going to go under and back through. Bring it right up onto the small part of our rescue weight. So into between the small ring of the rescue weight and the large one through there. That way is actually then pulling this through. Then we're going to do a second loop, which is going to come back right over the top of our little loop. Okay, and we're going to pull through nice and tight there. Now, when you see that through to there, it looks pretty messy, but we know we've locked off that. That's pulling this one back around there. And when we pull on it, there's no give there at all. Once we've done that, we're going to double check everything. And as we do our system and we're working on it, we can come back from time to time, just double checking everything through our system, making sure all our knots are okay. We've got it nice and neat here. Now, the reason we do that neat there, if we have to do a rescue and we've got to lower somebody down, this system is really here, there's no knots in it, it's not all tangled up, and we can then lower the person down um, if we need to do a rescue. So once we get to here again. All right, so we've locked off and tied off the other end over here, and what we're gonna do now is unlock. Okay, we've unlocked, we're gonna put our tension on there, so say that's our tension that we want on there, no more. Now we're gonna lock off, so lock off, we pull that over and through. We're actually putting that through there, which is going to use friction to stop this pulling through. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our loop, Okay, so we're going to pull out there, okay, we bring it over and through, back through itself. Now, the reason we're doing this, we're going to pull it nice and tight. So as you can see, as I'm pulling this tight, it's pulling this down. So what that stops that from popping out again and actually releasing. So we pull that over like that and down, and so it's nice and tight right through there. Our second one stops that first one from coming loose. And we tie it off nice and tight again. We've got to keep it away from the carabiner so that way it's not going to get caught up in the carabiner. Pull it out nice and tight and check like that. So once again, we've dubbed this end here now, as you can see through there. It's pulling this down, so that means that this can't flick out. Checking everything again on our system, having a good look, making sure we're happy with everything. We would then tidy our rope up if we've got lots of rope out there. That way if we need to use it up in a hurry, it can be done at any particular time. Okay, once again, you can see our system there nicely done. And from time to time, we would check it. At any stage we need to do anything like that, we can undo. Okay, we can do our lock off, tie offs there. Okay, we can bring it back over, we can release. So as you can see there, we want this to be pulled that way. That's why we go up and over and back through there and tie back off again and do our second one as well. Okay, so really, really important that we look at that each time because that's why we're doing that tie off section there. Nice and tight like that. Okay, just pulling that back through. So that's our system on both sides here. So we've got two anchors, rack three, pull two, back to our sling anchor over there, up over our little roof here into the middle. As you can see there, we've got our two um, safety lines going down over that side of the roof, which that means one person would be on each one of those. Our main uh, stack line here, 